Hello again, YouTubers. I'm at SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel with our SpongeBob comics number 36 or issue 36 uh, review video. And if you haven't checked out our previous video, which was um, our video on issue 35, make sure you go check it out. Um, as well as issues uh, 33, no, 30. 32, 33, and 34 if you're interested in the showdown at the Shady Show. So, basically, this issue uh, is the conclusion to the five-part uh, well, series, I guess, um, about the showdown at the Shady Show is the end. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll get into it uh, right away. So... Um, and just a spoiler, if you haven't checked out our previous video, but you have seen the past uh, parts of the uh, showdown. Um, the mysterious guy, or the mysterious figure who was tracking Spongebob and Patrick, um, turned out to be the uh, mailman. So, anyways, let's get right into this. Spongebob Comics 36, Brush Up on Maritime Merriment. Featuring Spongebob, uh, Adventures of Spongebob Squarepants and his aquatic friends. Covered by Jerry Wardaway and colored by Rick Nelson. So yeah, printed in uh, BCQ at Canada. Uh, August 25th. Then we have some uh, other stuff there, Bung Comics. Alright, so. Anyways, we're going to get right into the showdown at the Shady Shoals. Part 5 of 5. A Spongebob comic so uh, soggy serial. So, last time, you yeah, guys can pause wherever you want and, uh, and uh, read anything. I'm uh, just going to slide through this whole thing. Um, so, yeah. So, now they're trapped inside this, uh, what, sopping scoundrel's belly, which is actually the belly of the tidal wave. Yeah, the villain here is the tidal wave. Um, and then... Uh, So hopefully this video is not going to go too long. Um, but anyways, while we're going through this, I must say, um, you know, the uh, on the, the title of this uh, issue is All New, All Different. And, um, yep, there is a totally new uh, art style or view of Spongebob. Oh yeah, and uh, friendship is formed that could change the world. Yeah, alright, so they become younger again while... So again, Spongebob's power of friendship, and uh, yeah, Silverfish Age of Comics. So, um, yeah, anyways, each issue has uh, the lingo translations on one page, so um, yeah, from 32, 32 to 36, which is this one. Friendship Force. So basically, this is the story of how, you know, they defeat the tidal wave and they realize that, well, um, the real victor of, uh, of the, of the battle is actually, actually I can't even really, I can't really remember, but. Um, because I haven't read this comic, um, since the day I actually bought this. Um, yeah. But anyway, so we'll see. So basically, they got, get all the old people, uh, elderly people, excuse me. <laughs> um, to get in, uh, to walk right into the tidal wave. Which gave him a stomach ache, and... Now, they... Uh, destroy... No, they, they uh, defeat the tidal wave. And sucking him back into the submarine. So, <laughs> yeah, the sea cucumber again. So, and uh, Spongebob gets to fin uh, weave all the battle sets into his friendship belt with complete accuracy. So, and so really...
So friendship force again. Um, the evil leak. Okay. So they fix the door. I think the light is actually putting out the text there. So move the comic down a little bit. All right, and uh, yeah. So basically, they help uh, help out around the shady shows. And around, I guess. And yeah, ta da! So now, okay, now this is where everything changes again. So, who's the leader? And then they grow older and older and older again. Oh, because... <laughs> yeah, they were arguing with each other. So... And Patrick never finished picking his nose. So the real winner was friendship. That doesn't make sense. But at least we're all back to normal. Except for Barnacle Boy's nose. Speak for yourself. <laughs> and Lafino is, uh, what? DN? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Over here it says, uh. Oh, okay, they did. They actually didn't put that in, but oh well. Um. So, Squaw Esperanto. And, uh. I don't think these are actually real I mean um, I've never seen a language with uh, <laughs> these kind of words before but okay if, if this is actually like you know a language they created themselves well that's pretty cool so epilogue okay now this is where it gets fun so vis visiting hours are over so it's time to leave You've been here for 10 hours. Uh, and uh, he knows. You visit them. You visit Mermaid Man every day. And then the door creaks open. The visiting Mermaid Man, huh? Pretty soon I'll be paying Mermaid Man a visit he'll never forget. And who is the mysterious resident of room 19? Sorry. That's a story for another time. For this tale, it's now the end. So yeah, I like that cliff, a little cliffhanger there. Pretty cool. A Soggy Selected Journey by Travis Nichols. So, he gets uh, movie passes. And spoiler alert, um, either way it's not going to work out for Mr. Krabs. So choose. If Spongebob should give, no, if Krabs should give the tickets to Spongebob, go to page 18. To Pearl, go to page 19. So let's take a look at Spongebob. So you chose Spongebob for your movie tickets. So we can have two paths, comedy and action. We'll go down the comedy pathway first. Alright, so. So, no, but if you went down the action pathway, this never happened. So, this time, SpongeBob gets free money, and Mr. Krabs goes, No, okay, so now we're gonna choose Pearl. So, a, a documentary or scary? So, we're gonna go down documentary first. So, they sleep. No. Oh, yeah, basically, both ways. Yeah, Mr. Krabs loses. No. So, Mr. Krabs is quite miserable in the story. So, swap story. Let's take a look. So, and then, um, swap and contest. So, story by David Lehman, uh, Pencils and Ink, 
by Vince DePorter, color by Monica Kubina, and lettering by Rob Lay. So enter. Where do you go to enter contest? Please stop. <laughs> okay. So he's practicing his uh, swapping. Ignoring your boss, illustrated. Wow. Squirrel tends to read a lot of weird stuff. I mean, not really weird, but it's so. Sometimes he just reads it about dancing or. Yeah, dancing or um, how to. Like, uh, ignore his. Uh, the people around him. In the newspaper, not forgetting the newspaper, especially every single time a squirt goes into the, uh, the bathroom. And a crusty crab and, and sleeps in the bathroom instead. He falls asleep on the job, so... Yeah. Just watch uh, the uh, flashback in Truth or Square. Just watched that a, uh, a couple of days ago, and... Uh, you know, I actually didn't realize how cool Truth or Square was. Um, but I actually found the... Uh, the Apache part kind of boring. Okay, so swabbing contest today. Lose. So SpongeBob, I, I always thought he would win, but uh, yeah, screw it. Did you empty that grease trap? I'm on it. So yeah, hint, hint, the grease trap. So swipe the swag. Wow. Swept it all clean, sir. Bar ankles, okay. So now, swept the lines and make sure you separate the halyards from the jib sheets. Okay. So, zero. And saw the prisoners into the brig. Well, let's take a look at this. Why didn't you swept the, pris the prisoners into the brig? It didn't seem nice. Nice, that's a definite zero. Yeah, the he let them walk off. That's ridiculous. So yeah, the grease trap is about to blow. Uh, I mean, like overflow and everything. So grease wave. All the grease uh, heads towards the stadium. And. That's one thing he knows how to handle. And he absorbs all of the grease. So. King of the Swabbers. So Squidward as lazy as usual. So last, uh, last one. Pranks for Nothing. By David DeGrand. So guess what the prank is? So it turns out that Patrick he was yelling to was Sen after all. And SpongeBob and Patrick were laughing, haha. <laughs> and I think this is yeah, Sponge Funnies by Kochalka. Uh, we have airbag deployment. Uh, Mrs. Puff. Safety first. And uh, everybody wins. No, I crashed. Are you sad? No, I'm happy. I got this neat balloon as a consolation prize. Wow. Okay, so nautical nightmares and deep sea dreams. Dreams of jellyfishing, dreams of renegade clothes, and dreams of dreaming. Okay, so salty subconscious scenarios to satisfy the most story star Steve Thor. I think that's how you pronounce it, but oh well. So yeah, uh, we'll have the uh, uh, issue thirty-seven video probably up in a couple, of, uh, maybe next week or the week, uh, the following week because you know uh, my exam starts next week and uh, probably it's I'm actually making this on Friday. Um, 
what's it? What's today's date? Friday, October 10th, yeah. And, uh, no, excuse me, October, oh yeah, it's October 10th, I think. Yep, it's October 10th. Anyways, the A counting office. So he's counting, he's counting. Now he gets to start all over again, wow. Yeah, Plankton Pictures. Alright, so yeah, that's about it for this video. The next video probably wouldn't be SpongeBob Comics, but um, the following one should be. Uh, we'll see how things go, and uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. If you're interested in SpongeBob Comics, uh, now, after watching this video, or have always been, but um, haven't been able to take a look at the older issues, we have a whole collection of SpongeBob comic videos uh, from the first issue all the way to um, at the point of making this, this uh, issue 36, and um, onward to the future issues as well. So um, we have a whole uh, mega playlist, uh, which you can find the link to in the description box below, or at least on the channel homepage. Yeah. So, um, if you're interested, go check them out. Um, the only video that we're actually missing from the channel, as far as I know, is issue number 9, which uh, we'll probably get to eventually, but, um, yeah, you know, that was in Ju that was the issue for June 2012. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, kind, etc. We'll make sure to keep it right here on Ottoman SpongeBob 101. Also, check out ultimatespongebob101.com for uh, our updates uh, regarding Ultimate Spongebob 101 as well as our Spongebob related updates on Twitter and Instagram of which we all have the links in the description box below. Alright, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.